It's real, it's real, it's real. What up, Heart Squad? I'm here at the library once again for another episode of Opening Pokemon Cards in the Library. And this time we are still searching for that hyper rare Reshiram and Charizard. One of the absolute rarest Pokemon cards that has taken me over 4,000 packs and I still not pulled that thing. But today, we're probably still not gonna pull it, but let's go inside. Hello, hello, I'm back in the library, but we gotta be very, very quiet because we could get in trouble, but we have a lot of packs to get through today. Yeah, it's a lot, but let's get started. I want to show you the pool so far. Crobat, you, Flirt, Drum, my face, Winsicott, you do. The one hyper rare, that level, and these. First big pull of the day. Do it to say, it's been very, very quiet in here today.
pull this card. And we did it. Oh, I can't believe it. It's real. We did it, guys. steering me down or not or if he was just senile but guys we did it we just pulled a card that took me over 4,000 packs at least to pull and we did it and we did it at the same location that I pulled the sun and moon ultra ball card like it's come full circle and I can't believe that on this glorious sunny day, we have pulled it and we are officially done with the Hyper Rare Rushizard. Two hours later. All right, I'm back in the studio and I've had a couple hours to just like mellow out because honestly, it really doesn't even feel real right now. I actually pulled a card I've been wanting to pull for over a year and a half. But I decided I'm gonna do something very special. I'm gonna show you the actual card a little bit closer up in better quality. And then I'm gonna tell you what grade from Beckett I think it's gonna get. We're gonna go to Beckett, get same day grading, and then in this very same video, I'm gonna reveal the grade of my Hyper Rare Reshiram and Charizard card. So I had to be very, very careful, guys, because uh, this, is the card. This lovely thing is what I potentially think could be a black label Beckett. The prime, the, 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 the number one grade you can possibly get. And there's only one ever Russia Ram and Charizard card that came back in a black label, which basically means you get four grades, each of those grades for corner, edges, centering, surface, all tens across the board, and you get that shiny, well not so shiny, black label. Otherwise, you get a Beckett 10 gold label, which is three tens and a 9.5, and I'll tell you what I think could potentially be a 9.5, and I would be okay with that. And then you actually get a Beckett 9.5. Now, the price currently for a Beckett black label is on eBay for like over $36,000. Well, I tell you what, if this gets a black label, I will not make it 37,000. I will make it four billion trillion dollars. No, not really, but really, I'll just be so happy because this card means so much to me, so much trouble in getting it, but it's been an amazing journey. And if you take a closer look, what I am think, like the centering and the edges are perfect. Uh, the only thing would be Sorry, did I say centering? The edges and the surface and everything I think is perfect. It's the centering that could be potentially troublesome with compared to the right side, compared to the top, but then to the bottom as well is a little bit bigger down here compared to up there. But the only thing is, if you take a look at the design of the card and what the card officially looks like on a cool little graphic I have from Pokemon Online, it looks like it's virtually the same. You gotta leave a little bit more room for Reshiram's wing on the right side. And then at the top, you can tell the uh, his little, whatever that is, it horn thing is going all the way. So I think this is an actual perfect card that displays the entire graphic gem mint perfectly. And uh, just, I I'll be very, very careful because I'm, I'm just waiting for Beckett to open today. They open uh, for lunch at one o'clock, but take a look at this. Look at that. That, no edge wear. Centering is absolutely perfect. No whitening. Guys, we may have the second ever black label, Reshiram and Charizard. Obviously, it's subjective when it comes to grading, but I can I can just I can hope. I can hope. So 
Um, Beckett 10, the very least. Otherwise, Black Label, I'm super, super hopeful for. I'll be surprised, to be completely honest, um, because is the, holding this card, it just, it doesn't seem real. So if you guys can, please hit that thumbs up button. Let's get this video to over 10,000 likes. 10,000 likes! I know y'all can do it. For us finally getting this, but uh, let's go to Beckett. A few moments later. I'm here at Beckett. We're gonna go inside. I wanna submit this guy. I wish you the best of luck, baby. Let's go. Just dropped him off. Now the waiting begins. Two hours later. I'm on the way to Beckett right now to go pick up the card. I'm gonna pick it up, not look at it, and then bring it back to the studio. Destiny. And we're back in the studio, and I don't know about y'all, but I'm so excited. Inside here is the Hyper Rare Charizard that just several hours ago, I pulled in a library. And if you like this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button, notification bell, join the heart squad. I open up new packs like today. I open up vintage packs like maybe this weekend. But anyway, I hope you consider joining. Um, inside is what I hope it's a black label, if not a 9.5. Like I said before, I think it'll get a 9.5 because I thought the surface, the edges, uh, not centering. Centering, I could see it being a 9.5, clearly. But um, other, other than that, I think they're all 10 straight across the board. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see what we can do. I, I really don't want to spoil anything. Is it gonna show it if I go like this? Okay, so here it is. Look how beautiful it is. Um, and there's just a little sheet on the inside. Oh, they gave me the sleeve back. They've never done that before. All right, guys. Are y'all ready for... A nine? Oh, no! Oh my gosh, but look at that, look at that. Tens across the board, except an 8.5 for centering. This is your first time seeing a Beckett card compared to a PSA. They give you subgrades for the centering, for the corners, surface, and edges, and everything is a 10, except the centering got an 8.5, which, I don't know, I'm not good at math, or otherwise I would have been a doctor instead of an attorney, but isn't that like a 9.5 for the average of that, or a 9.6? Uh, but in any case, uh, there's the grade. You get a silver one <laughs> for second place, no. Uh, but, uh, Obviously, what I mentioned before, the centering is more on this side, but just when you look at it, the graphic on each of these areas, it it looks like the graphic extends into those areas that you wouldn't otherwise see. And when I put up the other types of card, like the real what it looks like on Pokemon TCG Online, it looks like the bottoms and the right side are essentially the same. That's why I'm like at least a 9.5. Um, for the back purposes, it's flawless. There's I don't even think the centering's bad, really, on the back. It's definitely this front side, if anything, which is why it got an 8.5. Uh, but the fact that we just pulled this card hours ago, in the library out of old places, and now we got it graded on the same day from Beckett. It's been quite the day. It's been quite the day, but uh, I don't know the price off the top of my head. It will have been on screen approximately how much this costs now, how it is, but it's all about the... Uh, the time and the resources spent to finally pull this card. But uh, I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. If you would like more openings and videos, check out them right over there. My name is Lean Arts. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.